Hello everybody and welcome to my updated version about the modal in Bricks Builder. I have changed the full source code from jQuery to vanilla JavaScript and I've also um, adapted the code to make it more compatible with the smaller DOM output in Bricks 1.4. So it should give you a boost in performance because you don't have to use jQuery anymore to use those tutorial elements. Um, I have also kind of created a new um, website where you can find all the tutorials and maybe some um, related snippets you can use, which will be shown up at the tutorial if there is a related snippet. So you can kind of improve that behavior or tweak something if you like to. Um, yeah, for the pop-up or get generally for all elements, um, there is now a new um, child team available, which you can get from GitHub. You just have to hit that code button here and hit download zip, um, which doesn't add anything to your website by default. So it's just for um, having all those source codes available and you don't have to uh, care about how you can include them in your website, for example. You just have to install that as a theme and it will automatically um, register all scripts, which will lead to um, an easier to follow tutorial. So you just have to um, kind of use a minimal um, use minimal lines of code to make it work. So, but I will show you that later. Um, let's start with how you can um, how you can use the new model element. Um, as you can see, here is a minimal example how it could look like, and I I'm gonna show you how to set it up. So, just add here a new page. Hit edit with bricks. And for the minimal layout, you will need a wrapping container and probably you want to have an inner container. You wouldn't need to do that, but um, normally if you have a model or a pop-up, you want some kind of backdrop color. And for that, you would need to have um, that outer wrapper here. Um, you don't need to style here anything in terms of sizing that would be handled by the code, but um, it's easier to visually style anything if you do so. So that's why I'm gonna apply here those um, values. Um, as I said, you, you don't need to do that, but you can if you kind of like to have or to see how it would look like in the front end. So I just give it here a color, a backdrop color, as I mentioned, and then I'm gonna style here my inner um, container. So let's give it a width of, uh, I don't know, 30%. And on the outer container back again, I just um, make that here center. And let's give it a height of, um, I don't know, 350 pixel. It's just for demonstration anyway. So let's apply here a background color and let's add some content. So that's the visual part, you can, of course, um, do some more complex layouts here, but I just want to show you how to set it up. So that would be the modal backdrop color and that would be the inner container here. Um, what you have to do now to make it work is um, assigning an ID to that backdrop or to that outer wrapper. Um, and I'm gonna name it here my model. Um, for a really, really basic setup, that's all you need to do. Um, let's just add here a code block. And the cool thing with the, with the child team is that you don't have to care about where to place that code block. So all you need to do is um, copy that code here and just paste it and it will get applied automatically to the footer. Um, so as you can see, there are several other options, which I will mention um, soon, but let's just um, 
initialize that with the basic setup and for that you just have to pass an ID of that modal. Um, I have assigned here the ID my modal and you also have to match that here. So let's hit execute code and yeah of course I would need a, a trigger too so <laughs> otherwise it wouldn't work in the basic setup. So um, what you need to do is just add here um, a button for example. So here and for that button there is a default class you can use. You could also adapt that but more on that later. Um, the default class is WCD open model, which you can also um, find in the documentation here, add a trigger and close button. The close trigger is WCD close model and the open trigger is WCD underscore um, open model. Um, so for the basic setup, which is just a, a model which gets opened by clicking, um, you would need to have that button. So let's hit save and view on front end. And as you can see, when I'm clicking that button here, it opens and it also has some default um, closing options, which um, is clicking on the backdrop. So if I click here, nothing happens. But if I click on the backdrop, it closes. And the other one is hitting the escape key. There is um, a third option, which would be closing that modal um, by hitting that close icon for example so i could use here an icon which is close um, maybe let's just set that to position absolute and here on the top right corner let's make it a bit smaller and for that, there is also, as I mentioned, there is also the class um, WCD close model, which will close the model um, if you click it. So let's assign that class here to that icon WCD close model. Um, when I save that and open that um, pop up again, as you can see by clicking that, oops, by clicking that button, um, it closes again. Um, that's about the closing options and there are also um, other options to um, open that. So um, as I mentioned you could change that class which will be um, helpful if you have multiple models which should be um, opened by different triggers then you can um, change that class to something else. Um, there is also an option to open that pop-up on or after a certain time. Um, if you want to have it opened on page load, set that to 1. Don't set it to 0 as that timeout function doesn't work with um, 0 values. So if I set it here to 1, um, yeah, I can't change that fast. But as you can see it's opened on page load. So maybe I will get it when I hit save. Yeah, here you can see it opens on page load. I could also set here a certain timeout, which um, the value is in milliseconds. So if I want to have, for example, after one and a half second, I would need to set it to 1500. And as you can see, after 1.5 seconds, the modal opens by default. The trigger still works, so you can use both options in combination. And there is also another option, which is the scroll option, and which is the distance you have scrolled. Um, for that, I would probably need um, some distance to scroll. So I'm gonna make here just an empty container with 300 view height, just to have some um, kind of scrolling behavior. Um, so in the code back again, okay, I've activated it um, and yeah, let's hit save. So it will open after 1.5 seconds as we defined before and it will also open after scrolling a certain distance as you can see. So yeah, that's it. Um, that's pretty much everything I have to say about it. 
Um, all those options are available here in the documentation too. Um, and yeah, that's it. So hope it's now easier to set it up with those few lines of code only. Um, if you're facing any issues or have any questions, just let me know and yeah, enjoy building it.